Luka Doncic is absolutely blowing up the NBA. And many of his rookie cards are now well above $1,000, which is way out of the range of most collectors. Today, I'm going to give you my top five Luka Doncic rookies that you can buy on the cheap. That's today's topic. All right, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. I am your host, Matt Powers. Thank you again for joining me. If you guys can, visit the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com. Give me a follow over there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. So the NBA season has restarted here, and things are going pretty well. A lot of guys are taking off. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., all these guys. But one guy that has really... Uh, stayed really, really consistent, and one of my favorite guys to collect is Luka Doncic. Now, let me just run through some quick stats here for you on Luka. Here. He's in his uh, second year now. He's averaging almost a triple-double for the year, a triple-double in the NBA. I mean, think about that. Think about how hard high school basketball was, <laughs> and he's doing this in the NBA. It's just absolutely incredible. Uh, as of August 7th of uh, 2020, he was averaging 29 points a game, 9.4 rebounds, and 8.8 .8 assists. I remember in high school, like, if I got five assists, I was real happy with 10 points, you know. But it's just incredible for such a young player, only 21 years old. If you've seen any of my recent videos, you know, just like everybody, I'm high on Luka. Luka is a phenomenal player, lots of room for growth. He's playing on a pretty good Mavericks team that's got potential to get better and maybe add some new pieces in there. He's an international star, of course, being from Europe. It just seems like things are just limitless for him. He's got everything going for him. And if you followed anything about sports lately, you know the basketball card market has taken off just crazy lately. I mean, it just seems like every player is going up in value. Bull, bull, even, for example, which is absolutely insane. Uh, so it seems like every card is just going up in value, and Luca is no exception. But, as I mentioned, many of his cards, like the 2018 Prism, are just out of the reach of most people. They're $1,000 plus now. And that is just way too much for some entry-level collectors, and that I totally get. So this video is about you here, and this will be my top five rookies that you can buy right now on the cheap or cheaper i guess i should say because luca is going up and up and up okay so to keep it simple in today's video i'm just going to be discussing psa 10 graded rookie base cards okay no parallels no specialty cards no autograph cards just to keep it consistent we're doing just base cards okay and all this data is going to be over the last 30 days uh, today being August 7th, so this is all, all the way back to July 8th, I guess you could say. And the data is going to come from marketmovers.com. I've talked about them before. So you guys should check out their software program. Great to pull some data on cards and find some sleepers for yourself there. And they get all their information, of course, from eBay, okay? So with that being said, let's jump into the list here. Number five is the 2018 Panini Chronicles card number 71. This is going to be the cheapest one on the list. As of right now, its uh, average price is $158. Not bad, right? Uh, it's, over the last 30 days, it's had a 42% price increase. 28 have sold. Not my favorite card, just kind of a boring design, but it just seems like anything Luca touches just goes up in value. But nonetheless, it's really a cheap rookie for Luca. It's got 374 PSA 10s out there, so not a lot, so room for growth there. And 80% PSA 10 rate, so if you find them raw and ungraded, um, you can send them into PSA there and get a 80% chance to get a PSA 10. So that's always another way to go, to bring your cost of goods down on that. Uh, number four is the 2018 Panini Status, card number 122. I really, you know, I really like the design of this card. It's kind of funky. Uh, it's got a really great image of Luca on it, and that always really sells a card, in my opinion. Never underestimate what the image looks like. If, if it's a nice quality image, like you see some old Shaq cards that are out there with him dunking, those are just iconic cards. Even if they're not rookie ones, people like to collect cards that look good. Uh, it's got a different kind of color design, very unique. A 16% price increase over the last 30 days. 17 have sold. Average selling price, $265. A 
Only 258 PSA 10s are out there, which means these just a lot of these have not been graded. People are not sending these in. 77% chance of getting one to PSA 10. So find it ungraded, send it on in. And number three is the 2018 Panini Hoops card, number 268. Oh, I love the NBA Hoops brand. It is just one of my favorite brands. I don't know why. I really like the simplicity and the color of the designs. Uh, very, very, very underrated cards. If you cannot afford an autographed rookie of, let's just say, for example, obviously we're talking about Luca here, but there are other ones out there like Anthony Davis. Look at the 2012 NBA hoops for him. You know, it's a it's a different design. It's got the the Hornets color on there, and um, it's just a really cool, unique looking or Hornets. I say Pelicans, whatever whatever team they were on. Um, it's a really cool, unique color design, and they're on the cheap too. You can usually find very, very good price on those. Uh, these ones have been around for a long time. Here you're looking at about 14 percent increase on these ones in the last 30 days. 22 have sold. $304 average selling price, 1,601 PSA 10s are out there. So a lot of them out there and a 71% rate of PSA 10 rate. So again, find them raw and ungraded, send them on in. Uh, number two is the Panini Donruss card, number 177. Uh, probably, the, probably the most boring card on this uh, list, in my opinion. Not the best looking image, but it is a highly, highly sought after card. 26% price increase there. 158 have sold in the last 30 days. Average selling price of $345. Uh, again, not one of my favorite designs, but because of the brand name, it is a popular card that people want to collect. 2,582 PSA 10s are out there. 72% PSA 10 rate. So good one to pick up. A lot of people are interested in this card at a fairly good price. And my number one pick for the cheapest and most affordable Luka Doncic rookie card PSA 10 is the 2018 Panini Revolution brand. I love this brand. The designs are so cool. I love the colors on them. Very, very highly underrated uh, brand. Definitely be looking at these for other players too. Uh, just a very, very underrated set. Very clean look to it. Uh, this one has increased 50% over the last 30 days. There have been 16 sales and average selling price of $463. Just absolutely incredible. Only 316 PSA 10s out there and a 68% PSA 10 rate. So there's my top five cheaper Luca uh, rookie cards that you can uh, be picking up there. Again, don't be shy about picking them up ungraded and sending them off to PSA to get them graded. Most of these cards, I think all of them are right around 70% chance of getting a, a PSA 10. So buy 10 of them, <laughs> send them all in, see if you can get seven tens. There's a good chance you might do that. Again, always check your cards for scratches and dings and all that kind of stuff there. But hopefully that helps you guys out. Again, if you guys want to head over to the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com, you can check out all the Luca stuff I have there. And also give me a follow over there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. Thanks again. I'll see you guys on the next episode.